Hello everyone, welcome back to another cafe. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Attack of the B Team for episode 44. And the last episode we found ourselves in a moon dungeon, much like this one, fighting uh, the tier 1 boss to try and get ourselves a schematic for the tier 2 rocket. And uh, actually this is a different dungeon to the one we were in last time. If I press M, uh, the dungeon we were in before was this dungeon all the way down here. Because uh, if you remember correctly, we had uh, we fought it, we went all the way through and we only got this. We only got the moon buggy, which I think we might still try and make. I'm interested to see um, how the moon buggy works, but... We did manage to get ourselves the tier 2 rocket schematics that we were after. So uh, what I did off camera is I came down, I found, I was like wandered around for a bit until I found this uh, moon dungeon over here. Uh, battled through all the other stuff coming down here, it wasn't too hard. Fought this guy again, again not too hard. I got thrown into the lava a lot more this time actually, kind of. I didn't do it in Batmorph, I did it in uh, human form and he threw me into the lava quite a bit uh, at the corners of the room. But uh, this time it actually worked, the door opened over here. I headed down, I threw in my key and would you guess it, look at this. We got our NASA workbench schematic tier 2 rocket. Which is pretty cool. Do these stack? Oh, they don't. Look at this. So if we ever need some safari nets, we've got a bunch of them in the um, in the in the moon on the moon. Uh, bread, a stencil. I think stencils are apparently for drawing or like drawing on stuff with open blocks. I've never actually tried it. Although I think someone did tell me uh, in the comment section once what they do. Uh, anyway, what I want to do today is I want to start working on some um, some Galactcraft stuff, some Mars stuff. I want to get to Mars. But I don't think we'll do it today because uh, I started having to look into it and it's pretty hard to do. So we've got the schematic for a tier 2 rocket. But if we actually want to make the tier 2 rocket, we need quite a bit of stuff. Um, we would need basically the same stuff we had before, the nose cone, the fins, the engine. Uh, we need these boosters which take uh, yellow wool, some compressed meteoric iron, some uh, oxygen vents, some heavy duty plating and all that good stuff. But then it's all this stuff here. All the um, What was before just normal heavy duty plating is now tier 2 heavy duty plating, which requires normal heavy duty plating, so we have to get all the heavy duty plating we had before and make it again, but this time compress it with some compressed meteoric iron, which is compressed meteoric iron, which is made from raw meteoric iron smelted. Now, meteoric iron is not the easiest in the world to come by. Now, um, I had a quick look on the wiki, and apparently this stuff over here, if I can find it, this one here, meteor, teleport to this, this is what we're looking for. We're looking for fallen meteors like this, they'll leave a little crater in the earth, uh, and we get this, we get a fallen meteor, and apparently, the only way that we can get actually raw meteoric iron from this is to go at it with a heavy duty pickaxe. And even then, I think it's only a chance of getting it. So we need one of these here, these heavy duty pickaxes, which are sticks and compressed steel. So we need to go back uh, down to earth and get ourselves one of those. And I think even then, according to the wiki, we only have a slight chance, well, maybe not a slight chance, but a chance of getting it, um, but we might not. So that is kind of what we have to do. Now, I have no idea how much meteoric iron we're going to get from these. I would hope quite a bit. I mean, if you have to, because this wasn't too hard, too easy to find by the looks of things. I had to walk um, like from here, around about, trying to find stuff. And it wasn't the easiest in the world. Now, let me just teleport back to here, because this should be where our stuff is. It is, it's over there. So I'm hoping that that gives us quite a bit of meteoric iron, because if not, we're going to have to spend a flipping heck of a lot of time uh, looking around for that stuff, because we need, uh, to make the tier 2 rocket, we're going to need like a ton of it. Tier 2 rocket, we need one of these. We need. Uh, at least one piece, so we need, what is that, uh, eight, ten? We need at least ten pieces of it, so we have to go find ten meteors. It's not too bad, I don't think, but then we need, here, eight more for them to. So if we have to go find, like, twenty of those little um, meteors, I guess it's more of a challenge, but it's just, yeah, I'd, I'd prefer not to have to. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of some stuff. We don't need, what do we need? We don't need sticks, we don't need arrows, we don't need a bow anymore. Uh, music disc, we might already have, we don't need muscle. Um, I don't know what the white stone does from random things. Let's have a look. Can we use this for anything? Can we? Nope. <laughs> okay. Um, apparently not. Uh, we don't need spider eyes or gunpowder or string. Get rid of all that shizwiz. Okay, let's take you, you, and you. And then we've got the fuel loader. Let's just do, 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 do. We should just be able to throw stuff down here like this. Is this going to work for us? Uh, oh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine. Throw the rocket on there and the fuel should start loading, I think. Oh, nope, I want to escape. I want to leave. There we go. Uh, are you loading stuff? No fuel to load. Okay, that would make sense. There we go, load fuel. Okay, so that should now be filling this guy up with fuel. If you press F, is it? F? Nope, it's not. It's C for some reason. Why Why not? Uh, oh, yeah, look at this. 34, 35, uh, almost, I think we have 50% fuel total. Uh, I'm going to take all this stuff back. We don't need that guy, but we're going to want this stuff. Um, he is now empty. Okay, good stuff. Let's grab you and you. Apparently, I have to pickaxe you, but that's fine. And let's head on back. Space bar. Okay, we're going. 
Now, there's no sound because we haven't got the sound frequency module. Oh, wow, apparently there is. Well, that's just everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> we couldn't hear any sound on the moon because we don't have the sound frequency thing. But apparently you can still hear the rocket. The rocket's loud enough to be heard. So uh, we're going to head back. We're going to have a look. I think I'm making the moon buggy. Because if we have a look at that, um, the moon buggy, or maybe it's having buggy. Or we could just go at Galacticraft, you know. <laughs> um, the moon buggy looks pretty cool. Look at this. It takes um, quite a bit of heavy duty plating, some buggy wheels, which are not too hard to make, some more steel, and uh, a buggy chair, which is just more and more steel. So what I think I'm going to do is we're going to head back to the earth. I think I'll make um, the uh, heavy duty pickaxe. Then what I'll probably do is I'll probably like cut away for a bit because I'm going to go and make like I'm going to go after smelt for like three and a half million hours um, in order to get all the compressed steel and all the compressed iron and all the compressed. I think it's bronze. That we need, uh, I think, do we need steel, tin, and bronze? Is it to make um, heavy duty plating? I think it is. Uh, it's been a while now since I've played this. Uh, do, 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 do. I can't see it on the page, but I know it. I think it is. Um, yeah, uh, bronze, aluminium, even, uh, and steel. So we have to go get a bunch of that stuff, uh, smelt it all, compress it all, <laughs> uh, and then compress it again into these heavy duty plates. I think we've, we uh, figured out we need a stack of each was it in order to make just the tier one rocket so we're gonna need a stack of each of those again um and then plus all the meteoric iron and oh my god i don't have a parachute so apparently this is where i die oh no ah oh i'm alive i'm alive i think my armor may have just saved me there uh, some people did warn me about that in the comment section that i was gonna die if i didn't have a parachute i th i don't know why they i don't know why these came off I think um, the plan was that I was going to turn to Batmoth before we landed, and then that could have just like flown down. But uh, I didn't really think that through too well, and I didn't plan ahead. Uh, it looks like we've got a little bit of fuel there, but I don't think we can really get that back. Okay, okay, back. We're back home, home sweet home. We're safe. Okay, how much how much iron do we have? Uh, we've got quite a bit. We've got a lot of aluminium, which is nice. We have got some uh, aluminium ingots. These are nice. We've got quite a bit of other stuff. Um, we've got iron. We've got a little bit of iron. We've got a stack and a half, which is not. The greatest in the world we could do with more because uh, once we smelt this up into steel, um, and we're going to need a stack of it to make that the. Um, oh, do we need two two steel to make a steel plate? Is that how it works? If it is, then we're going to have to go mining or something. Um, let's have a look. Steel plate. Oh, it is it's two steel, which is ah oh, okay. So we might have to use. We might have to go find ourselves some more iron actually, which is uh, a bit of a pain, but it shouldn't be too bad. So uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that going there. Actually, let's take uh, six so we can make ourselves the heavy duty pickaxe um, before anything else. Uh, we're also going to have to go find ourselves some more oil so that we can refuel the rocket, uh, put down the fuel load and everything again, but that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, actually, let's just go put this guy down up here so we can clear our inventory a little bit. Uh, we'll put you down, you down, and all the plates down again. There we go. Uh, may as well put the rocket back down as well. There's no point taking it with us. You can stand there. Okay, I'm, I'm really interested to see what's on Mars. I really, I, I've not even like watched videos on it or looked at the wiki to see pictures. I have no idea what it's going to look like. And uh, I'm pretty excited. Okay, so we've got this stuff. Let's turn down into the lab room. Oh, yeah, look at this. Okay, and let's compress. Oh, we've got two compressors now. Nice. Let's compress up uh, three of these so we can get some plates. And oh, my God. I've <laughs> I completely forgot about the um, the mob spawn we've got in here. I was just like, who's attacking me? What? What? What's going on? Why am I being attacked? Okay, so this looks like it's working well. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, actually, let's have a look. How, how is it working? Um... Oh, look, it's full. Look at that. We've got two full tanks of oh, almost two full tanks. Should I say that's at 14,200. We've got almost two full tanks of, uh, of stuff. I want to test something. Can we enchant these? No. Okay. That's a shame. But uh, not too bad. Do we have an anvil? We could do with an anvil. I want to repair my diamond pick. Uh, although, to be honest, I could probably just make a new one. Uh, let's have a look. You're doing fine. You should be uh, pretty much done, actually. There we go. Look at that. Three plates. And if we had our sticks, we'd be able to do stuff, but we don't, so we couldn't request some. Uh, sticks, here we go, I need two of those. One, two, submit, and that shouldn't take too long, I don't think. And then we just go one, two, three, and two sticks, whenever they arrive someday, there we go. And boom, okay, heavy duty pickaxe, four damage, nowhere near as much as the diamond pickaxe, at five, but uh, close enough. And if it's going to get us meteoric iron, which is what we need, then that is good stuff. So, what I think I am going to do is what do we need to make this thing uh leather oh gosh do we have any oh that they're, they're annoying we need to put them sound modules in don't we we need oh, is, it, is it easy to make is it gonna be something that we can just sound sound control upgrade takes an upgrade card and up lock and redstone uh you know, i'm just gonna 
There we go. Sound has been controlled. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. I thought we were going to keep going then. Uh, right. Leather. Let's have a look. Do we have that much leather? I don't know if we do. Uh, do, 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 do. We do have a little cow thing going outside. Um, so we should... Oh, no, yeah. Look at this. We've got 89 leather. Yeah, we've got loads of stuff. Let's have a quick look, actually. We should have... Um, I don't th oh, look, we got... Did we have two chickens? I don't think we did. I think that might have worked uh, just a little bit. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. Look at that. 14 more leather. Beautiful. Uh, what we should probably do, actually, is turn the chronotyper off. Um, does this open? It does. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, I can't reach the chest. Ah, <coughs> okay. Um, yeah, what we should have probably done is... Um, we want to move babies. We should probably turn that off for a while, actually, while it, like, builds up some momentum and we get quite a few cows in there, like we did before the, the uh, other base. Uh, we have one chicken just sort of wandering around. Oh, we have two chickens just sort of wandering around. Yeah, I think um, I think we did decide that we need to move this a little bit. Chicken? Oh, yeah, look at that. I think we decided we need to move this because um, stuff was just sort of, like, it shoots and it sort of, like, lands them out here. And what's probably going to happen is if we spend too much time here, we're just going to get, like, a massive amount of chickens sat on this, like, platform out here. Which, um, I guess it's fine. We could always just, like, um, ice those guys and get some uh, feathers and stuff. Okay, so you are cooking up in there. I mean, you're almost done, actually. But um, the downside is that we're going to need... That's only going to give us 32 steel. So, what I'm probably going to do, guys, is... I shall probably... In order to get... Oh, we have to get a bunch of um, stuff as well, aren't we? So, let's get... Oh, do we, like, oh, we don't have a lot of tin, either. Let's get tin and copper. This should make us some... What should we call it stuff in the induction furnace? Some uh, bronze. There we go. Throw that in there. That'll make us some bronze. Uh, and then once that's cooked up, I will take this out there. That's done. Let's throw in some aluminium. Oh, no, we don't need to throw aluminium in there, do we? Let's throw in the rest of the iron. <laughs> the other 32. We'll throw that in there. We can start compressing up the steel right about now. And we'll be able to see how many steel ingots we're going to get. We're going to get... Is this steel? Oh, that's, that's aluminium. Steel, we're going to get 29 ingots worth. So that's almost, well, that's half a stack. We're going to need, like, another, uh, we're going to get another 32 iron uh, up there, another 32 steel. So we probably need to go mining and find another, to be honest, if we're going to pulverize it, really, we only need to find another 16 iron-ish, and um, we should be good to go. That is going to give us half a stack of aluminium. So if we get another stack, which I think we do have, or aluminum, should I say. Um, <laughs> actually, I think, yeah, it is, uh, aluminum, yeah. Uh, how it's spelt here, I'm not going to go into it. It's, it's the People in the UK call it aluminium. Some people also call it aluminum. In the game, it's spelt aluminum, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, so we'll put that in there. That should give us a stack of uh, aluminium. <laughs> That's going to give us half a stack. The stuff up at the top, the bronze. Oh, gosh. The bronze is going to give us... Do, 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 how much? A stack and a bit. Okay, so we need some more copper in there. This is like the, the world's fastest way to get rid of like all of your like uh, ingots and stuff. Uh, so that's a stack and a half. That's and we only need we need two stacks of it. So uh, once that's done, we should have uh, more than enough. Uh, you're still going, which is good. So I actually thought this was going to take a lot longer than it was going to take. I thought I'd have to go like uh, I thought I was going to like nowhere near enough iron or steel and stuff, and this was going to take like decades to do. But uh, it's actually going quite fast in comparison to what I thought. So we might actually be able to do this um, within the episode. So let's just grab you and you. Actually, I'll leave this stuff going. Actually, you're pretty much done. I might as well just. One, two, there we go. There's no point wasting all the other stuff. Uh, throw you back in there. Take you downstairs. I'm going to throw this into here. Do, 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 do. You're almost done. Uh, okay, I'm going to wait for this guy to finish. I'll throw the um, Tinker's Alloy in here. Oh my god, please tell me Tinker's Alloys work as bronze. I think they do. If they don't, that's annoying. Oh, they do. Good, okay. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait for this to finish. Then I'm going to throw the bronze in. And then I'm going to go mining. Try and get myself about 60, maybe like half a stack of iron. Um, if I can, using the last of my pickaxe. And then I'll be right back. And uh, actually, just as I said that, I looked in here, and we actually have 49 iron just here, like, right here. So we'll submit. We'll just grab all that. Um, oh, we've only got 40 diamonds left. But flip it, I can look at all these diamond swords. Uh, they must have been from when we did the um, whatchamacallit stuff. Ah, uh, blah, 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 I can't think of the name. Uh, the auto spawn, the mob grinder down there. Um, okay, so let's go smelt you up again, I guess. <laughs> um, I thought I'd have to go mining, but it seems like we have enough. Uh, so how much did we need? Like maybe 32, was it? Do we need a whole 32 of them? Possibly. Uh, so we'll grab that. Let's head on back down. Pew, pew, pew. And start compressing you up again. 
There we go. Uh, so 14 more. We've got 12. We've got some there. 32. Um, still not going to be enough. Oh, no, it should be. Yeah, it should be enough once we've got uh, the stuff upstairs down there as well. So, okay, that's good. That's good stuff. Right, then we'll throw in the bronze and we should be good to go. Okay, what else do we need in order to make the moon buggy? In order to make the moon buggy, we're going to need some leather and some compressed steel. So, we might actually need some extra compressed steel as well. Let's just throw in, like, I don't know, make this down to 10. <laughs> that should do. So, I'll throw you back in there and let's go grab some leather. I might as well just request it out of here. If there's one thing I'd like to complain about about this flipping pack is the fact that actually we probably don't need that. How much are we going to need? Uh, four times sixteen. Um, one thing I complain about is the fact that when you open this up, it doesn't automatically start typing in there. It just sort of like just doesn't. Oh, we didn't realize we had the hats mod on. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> Done. <laughs> Do we have any more hats? Oh, look at this. I didn't. Oh my god! I didn't even realize you could change the color of hats. That's cool. That is pretty cool. Okay. Um, no, I'm just going to leave that right. <laughs> okay, so we've got all that stuff. We have some of these plates. We need one, two, three, four of those. And like this, was it? Yeah, there we go. One, two, three. Oh, oh wow, really? They don't stack? Really? Okay. Let's get rid of some of this stuff into our little uh, junk chest thing. Uh, I don't need you, 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 you. We can get rid of the miniature hearts, I think. Uh, oh, we can make heart kind of That's kind of cool. Uh, get rid of you. We don't need so many stacks of glowstone torches. Uh, and that should be better. Okay. Let's take all of you. Thank you very much. Do we have to make this in some sort of special? Oh, we do as well. We have to make it in the NASA workbench. Okay. So we need that. We need this guy. So we need one piece of compressed iron, which is not too bad. So we'll take one piece of iron or two pieces and go compress that down. And uh, see if the, the steel should have finished by now, I think. Yeah, there we go. Compress you down so we can make our little seat. And then we'll throw in the uh, Tinker's Alloys. Uh, I don't know why they call them Tinker's Alloys. Uh, Tinker's Alloy Ingots in, as opposed to like bronze. <laughs> But uh, I guess it's up to the people at Thermal Expansion. We'll take that and we can throw you and you in there. Thank you very much. And we should be pretty good to go. So we'll throw you and you, I think it was. Yeah, look at that. We did just use a lot of steel there, actually. So yeah, that could be a bit iffy, but we'll see. Where is our NASA workbench? Down here. Uh, next. Unlock schematic. Uh, do we just... Uh, okay, so we just throw this stuff in here. Okay. Throw that in there. Unlock schematic. And there we go, we have now tier 1 and moon buggy. Oh, nice, okay, so we might as well throw this guy in here as well. Unlock schematic, there we go, tier 2 rocket. So for this guy, we're just going to throw one there, one there, one there, and one there. With is it a seat in the middle, like that, and then a... Oh, no, you can only go in the one slot. And then a, a ton of little compressed plates. It is, okay. So, hmm, I'm wondering... Yeah, we're probably better off making the... I don't know. Well, I think I'm probably going to do this episode. It's I'll make the moon buggy. We'll go and we'll test it out. I don't know if we can... I've, I've no idea how it works. So it'll probably end up being me going to the moon, trying to ride the moon buggy, not working. And then people tell me how it actually works. But uh, I'll probably make the moon buggy if we can. And then... Uh, oh, we can't leave stuff in there. That's a shame. Make the moon buggy if we can. Get to the moon. Test out the heavy duty pickaxe. See if we can get some meteoric iron. And then if we can, what I'll probably end up doing after that... Uh, there we go, 64. Is... Um, between episodes, I'll try and get a bunch more meteoric iron, and then hopefully next episode or within a oh my god, what the heck? <laughs> Jesus, okay, flipping that. We need to we need to secure this like area. I think it's maybe I think it might be them dropping from above, like just like sort of dropping down and attacking us. But god, that's scary. <laughs> okay, uh, take you and compress it down. So yeah, I'll probably uh, between episodes then go and get a bunch more meteoric iron if that is the case, and then hopefully we can go to the moon pretty soon. So that's going to give it twenty more. Which will be 57, which is still not enough. Flipping heck. 57. So we need, what, 7 more? So we need 14 more iron. I don't even think we have that. No, we've got 8. Ah, okay. So we'll throw you in there. Uh, we'll go back into Batmorph for the first time this episode. I think that's going to be a first. The first time we've not been in Batmorph for, like, the whole of the episode. Um, apparently, I heard someone said that they've changed the, um, like, the crazy origin that we had at the beginning of the series is uh, not as apparent in uh, like later updates in the series. I don't know if that's true or not, but looking at this, it kind of must be um, because I am not seeing a ton of stuff. So <laughs> it actually, it well, that's a shame. I really like that. That was like the key feature of this mod pack was the fact that it had some stupid origin. So what I might have to do is just like have a quick nip down to uh, to the old base. And oh yeah, look at all this stuff. We still got all these steam engines, flipping neck. Um, I bet these still don't work, do they? Yeah, no, they still don't work. Uh, we should probably have a look around here 
because uh, all the chunks loaded around here will still have the nice crazy oh yeah look at this look how easy it is to find like <laughs> look how easy it is to find diamonds and iron look at all this ferris oh that's how that's how you do it this is how you play attack of the b team so we'll grab all this we only need a few i think and we should be good to go what i should probably do actually is uh, this diamond pick's almost gone what i might do is uh, make a fresh one and then just go throw it in that auto enchanter give it a level 30 enchant and see what we get that could be pretty cool so we've got nine uh, that's more than enough uh, we better get back to the old base so that we can actually like get stuff moving again new base oh that's moving and stuff okay here we go nice okay so oh you've got a cool hat right let's uh cook up some more so that was oh my god uh just pulverize it there we go <laughs> okay uh apples all right jesus Dying of hunger. Which is something we haven't even started on Witchery yet. You know, gosh, well, we kind of started on it. We made the mandrakes and stuff, but we haven't really got into anything cool about it. Um, the downside with Witchery is it's kind of, it's really cool when you're on a server and you can sort of like play with other people with Witchery. But uh, single player, it's, it's, there's some cool stuff you can do, but not some uh, like, oh my God, amazing, out of this world cool stuff. Um, how are you doing? You're doing okay. It's taking a while, but you're doing okay. You're doing okay. I think we said we got 57, didn't we? Yeah, 55, 56, 57. And then we needed a few more. So I think we needed seven more, didn't we? We've got uh, four more. So uh, five. Oh, we'll just, just start cooking this stuff up. Uh, that's doing that. Let's make a fresh diamond pick, actually. I'm, I'm in the mood for a fresh diamond pick. So diamond. Let's take three of those. Two, three. Uh, submit. Let's actually get some sticks. Flipping heck every time. <laughs> I'm so used to the systems like... Um, uh, logistics pipes and applied logistics the ones that these are kind of this is kind of based on and they just automatically let you start typing as soon as you're in the interface and it's just a bit of a pain when this one doesn't um okay so we'll grab that we will grab you we needed uh we've got four more we need three more i think it is so one two three that might do i'll put one more in just for safety cook you up and let's go and start enchanting this guy we'll just throw you in here real quick like that okay so what do we want we kind of I'm, I'm thinking fortune but we kind of don't need fortune to be honest we kind of want like maybe just sort of unbreaking and efficiency and stuff like that let's have a look we'll probably get all three of them like maybe with a level 30 enchant uh, oh yeah look at that unbreaking and efficiency just i think the the auto enchantment table asks you tell the, the auto enchantment table what you want and the auto enchantment table will provide oh yeah that's pretty cool, actually. We just asked for flipping unbreaking and efficiency, and it just gives us unbreaking and efficiency. Uh, when we said we were a bit iffy on fortune, that's that's kind of cool. Uh, fortune would be nice, but to be honest, the stuff that we get with fortune, like diamonds, coal, lapis, and redstone, we've kind of got a ton of that stuff already, and it's all over the place. We don't really need too much more of it. Uh, how are you? This stuff's taking a long time, this um, Tinker's Alloy, but it's almost done. We have almost all of the stuff we need uh, in order to make... Uh, well, actually, we have enough stuff to make the moon buggy, I guess. We could... Um, we could start making the moon buggy stuff uh, quite easily, actually. We don't need that many. Do we do it like this, or is it like... I think it might be like this. And it's probably in some sort of weird, illogical order. Um, does that, how many does that give you? One. Oh, you know. Okay, so we, we need two stacks of each of these. That is ridiculous, if that's the case. So it's... um, Was it this, this, and this, maybe? Yeah, like that. Oh, that is that is killer. So we need that's gonna give us thirty two. Do we actually need that many? Do we need that many? We need ten of these, which all require one of these. So we actually only need do we need less this time? Oh no, because we still need to make all of these. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need like a oh my god. Okay. So <laughs> we need so much stuff, guys. We need so much stuff in order to get this to work. <laughs> How many do we need for the moon bug? We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We only need eleven for the moon bug, so we'll let that go. Um let's go test out this new pick actually. Let's go see how well this works. I'm kind of bummed out that they didn't like um carry over the the cool origin stuff. I mean it's just a lot of cobblestone now. Uh, but yeah, oh yeah, look at this. It just sort of tears through everything. And with unbreaking, what was it like a billion? Uh do, 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 do. Yeah, he's got unbreaking three on there and efficiency four. Um sorry, efficiency, yeah, efficiency four. Unbreaking three, that thing's like this thing's like never gonna break. Ever. <laughs> it's gonna last forever and ever. So that's pretty cool. Let's uh see. We should have eleven now, and we should be able to go back to the moon and get our stuff. Um oh one second. Oh yeah, 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 that's fine. We'll put all you guys in here like that. We'll throw you in. Oh, I thought something had happened then. I can just see stuff like flickering and glittering. 
you, 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 and you, and then the chair, and boom, we've got a moon, oh, <laughs> and boom, we've got a moon buggy, okay, so that's that there, and what I'm going to do now, real quick, is um, grab myself some oil, and in order to do that, we're going to need a um, portable oil extractor, do we have one lying about? Not in there, apparently. Um, do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Really? Ah! You know, I just have to make... Oh, it's so expensive. I have to make everything from scratch. Everything. We'll grab uh, some redstone. And we will take some of you out. What was it? Was it like four of these? Or something? And some other stuff and things. One, two of the... Three of those. One, two, three. Uh, one, two of those. And a redstone. Okay. We can do that. Do we have a crafting table down here? We do. Good stuff. Always have a crafting table nearby. Got you. I think we should still have um, oil leveled on the map somewhere. Uh, moon dungeon. Da -da -da -da, space bar. <laughs> if, <laughs> for some reason, we like labeled all these on different sections. Ah, oh, really? We don't have the oil? Ah. Okay, guys. I'm going to go find the oil. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> Okay, so after a fair amount of searching, I've managed to find myself some more oil, and I think we should just be able to sort of like inject into that, and we get ourselves some oil. Oh yeah, look at that. Can we, is that, is that full, or do we have to like pick it out at the right spot? It kind of looks, oh yeah, there we go, it's full, okay. So now we can just M, we can go all the way back home. Let's come down there, we're going to try and find some flipping egg. Um, teleport, I don't think these will have finished. I mean, uh, it doesn't really matter. We can get to the back to the moon, and we can get the moon buggy and stuff going anyway. Uh, do we have the refinery set up? We do, good stuff. Let's throw you in there. Oil is in there. Refine. It's being refined. Hopefully it can move it to the canister, which would be nice. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, no, it's, it looks like it has actually been going since I've been away. Uh, we managed to get, uh, well, we got 20. We got 20 out of the 64 that we needed uh, to make a tier two rocket, but that's fine, that's fine. Okay, um, how are you doing? I think it's gonna refine it and then move it into, into the, um, the thing afterwards. So uh, I'm gonna let this refine again, guys, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we got our canister filled with fuel, 999. So not quite full, actually. We're one off, but uh, hey, well, well, we should be fine. Oh, go! No, 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 no. No, thank you, my friend. There we go. Okay. Got ourselves another hat. Was hats added? I think hats might have just been recently added in a newer version because flipping all these hats now, and I'm not, I'm just getting them all. Okay, fuel loader. Let's load up some of this fuel. Throw you up there. Load fuel. That should be fine. That's got flipping heck of a lot of redstone in it, actually. It's not actually losing any. Uh, <laughs> I have to have a look into that. But I'm not going to complain. Get rid of you. My god, there are so many mobs. Jesus, this is, probably, this is probably where they're coming from. They're probably learning to walk over here. Just sort of hold down shift and then just drop into there and attack me. Uh, I think that's definitely how it's working. Um, I think this just uses such little amount of power. 50, 50 power, <laughs> whatever that means. Um, it's not going to do it. Okay, we're full on fuel. Let's morph back into human mode. Just because only humans should fly to space in spaceships. There is a horde of zombies coming. We must leave before the apocalypse. We're going back. We don't have a parachute. It's fine. We made it last time. We'll make it again. We're going. Say sayonara. No. They're going to kill us. We're being invade, invaded by zombies. Who are going to eat our brains. They can't get in the, the spaceship. This is good. They can sort of bounce around and attack us. But that's fine. We're going to leave in 3, 2, 1. Blast off. Yeah. Sayonara. Oh yeah. Look at that. It sets them on fire and everything. That's cool. <laughs> that's really cool. Okay, we can turn the sound up a little bit now, actually. So we can get some uh, some noise going whilst we're going off into space. It seems to be raining just a little bit around like around us, but not around everything else, which is kind of odd, but fine at the same time. Uh, just going to turn it down, actually, a little bit again. Ah, oh, the nice pentagonal earth, where there's only white up at the top. Oh, yeah. I think it's the first time we've gone, like, from the moon back to earth and back to the moon again in the same episode. Uh, I think we've got everything. We've got all of our gear. We've got lit a little bits of oxygen, not a ton of it, actually. We've got... Uh, 282 in each of those, but that should be fine. That should be enough to last us for now. I always forget this is a thing you can do, but it's kind of pointless. <laughs> we've got our super, like, pimped up pickaxe. We've got our buggy that we're going to try. Um, I have a feeling it's not going to work. Just, like, a hunch that you have to have something cool for the buggy to work. Um, but it's worth a try anyway. There is literally just, like, rain just around where we are and not around the rest of the place. Like, just here and not everywhere else, which is uh, kind of odd, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're going to the moon. When gravity is 18%. Okay, um, um, oh, whew. <laughs> I got scared then. We've got a hold space bar. We've got a hold space bar straight away. Even, I've tried it before. You, I think you can get away with sort of letting it go faster a bit and then holding space bar, but it's just not worth it. 
So we're going to hold down space bar. We're going to let it fall slowly. Are we actually descending? Why? Yeah, we are. We're just descending really slowly. I'm sure usually it tells you somewhere um, what level you're on. And that, that, that thing in the top right corner is really bugging me, the fact that the, the map sort of like conflicts with the uh, oxygen tanks. Uh, are we landing in the same place? We are landing in what looks to be exactly the same place. Oh, I didn't even realize you could change this. <laughs> okay. There we go. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to go into Batmorph. Simply because I'm rather scared of the creepers that are about. Let's um, let's try that. Okay, how? Oh, blah! <laughs> we didn't bring the fuel loader and the forbidden energy cell. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All this stuff's still here. Look at this. Yeah, it's because we didn't unload the chunk. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> right. Let's go find the meteor and see if we can get that stuff. Teleport. Here we go. Um, can we? Oh my god. Yeah, this thing sort of just attacks in general, which is kind of annoying. I think it might set him on fire as well, possibly. No? Just just me? That's annoying. Die. <laughs> Ooh, we got a little heart. That's cool. Uh, can we like... No, oh, we didn't get a little heart. Not not as cool. Maybe we did. It's there. Can we put the buggy down? I, oh, we'll, we'll come back to the buggy. We'll eat some apples. <laughs> we'll try and break this fucking meteoric iron that seems to attack us every time we get close. And then we'll try and put the buggy down and see if we can ride around on it. Well, that sounds like a plan? Good. Okay. I have a feeling because we're in Batmorph, it doesn't like it. Or because we're in, not in Batmorph, because we're just like flying. Um, it might have took a while there. Let's see. Meteoric Iron, please. Like 20 pieces would be nice and preferable. But just any would be good. Hey, look at that. We got one piece of one Meteoric Iron. So yeah, guys, what I'm probably going to have to do is between episodes, I might go and like try and find 19 more of these or however, however many we need. I'll probably like try and calculate it and figure it out. Uh, can we ride around on this thing that didn't even load in? Right, that's cool. Where the flipping X are buggy? Is it the invisible moon buggy? Like, what? what? I know you can... F3, yeah, we can relaunch... Well. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Um, That's a moon buggy for you. It's um quite something. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit like. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.